Breaking news, my wonderful people. See what is going on. See what is happening now. Uh, you know, Shao Saludo has threatened Peter Obi. PDP crisis says we are now an integrated group. Wiki Ally says, say we are now an integrated group. So all those things Charles Soludo is planning for Peter Obi, he may not be able to succeed and get away with it. You know, he has already threatened that uh, Peter Obi should take down his posters or he will take it down for him. He will destroy all the posters and billboards. Bearing in mind that Peter Obi did not post, did not make any of these posters and billboards. He didn't. He didn't make any of them. Okay, these posters and billboards. We are, we are, these posters and billboard we are put together okay we are put together by people who feel you know peter will be um should be president and they are people are spending their own money they are spending their own money if you get what i mean please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news let's get all the details PDP crisis, we are now an integrated group, Wiki allies, Soludo threatens to, def to defeat, to deface Peter Obi's posters, said this cannot happen. Five governors selected on the platform of who are currently with Wiki, some aggrieved party leaders on Sunday announced the formation of the integrated group, saying it will soon take a position on the crisis rocking the party. The five governors and some party leaders are currently having a strategic meeting in Lagos. Addressing newsmen before going into a closed door meeting, Governor Sheyi Makin Sheyi of Oyo State said the integrated group is faced behind a struggle within the PDP. We are integrating with Peter Obi. Sheyi Makinde, who we are now this morning holding a meeting of the integrated group within our party. The PDP, you have seen the G5. That is the five governors. The governors is all about the integrity group. We want equality, honesty. We want equality. You can see five, seven governors as the face of the struggle. But the leaders and elders of the party that you can see here are the people behind these faces. We are this morning in the Southwest to review the situation within our party, to review where we are and also look at what is going on what is happening in the forthcoming days at the end of the deliberation you'll be fully briefed on where we stand on these burning issues on behalf of our leaders and elders of the southwest i want to welcome members of the integrated group these those present at the meeting include governor wiki of river state sheyi makinde of Oyo, Samuel Utom of Benue, Ifai of Enugu, and Piazu of Abia. Others at the meeting were former governor of Ondo State, Olu Shegun Mimiko, former Ikiti State Governor Ayofai Oshe, former Cross River Governor, State Governor Donna Duke, former Plateau State Governor, uh, and former Deputy National Chairman of the PDP, Chief Body George. Also present are former Attorney General, Just Minister of Justice, Bello Adeoke, Deputy National Chairman of the PDP, and others who were there to look at the issues and to deliberate seriously on this matter. So these governors are working together hand in hand to ensure that they state the position, you know, and they, they believe uh, they, they do things decently and in order. So this is what is happening. And this is why every single one of us must continue to look at things more critically and ensure that at the end of the day, 
Okay, every one of us uh, are working out and are doing all we possibly can. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is not uh, something you can sit back and just pretend. It is unbelievable how far things have gone. You know, for a long time now, we have continued to um, allow people who are not uh, who are not part of the, the the whole thing to be those who will determine for us what will be going on. So it is expedient. It is important that we all look at this more carefully and we do not allow the same people hold us down in whatever way you know we must ensure that at the end of the day every one of us are rising up on the on the path of truth and we are doing everything that is absolutely necessary to bring nigeria to that very desired and wonderful place that we ought to be as a nation and as a people so you can see for yourself that if every one of us you know we keep quiet and we do not do that which is necessary we do not speak out as that when we should then there'll be issues there'll be serious issues you know there'll be serious issues you see every one of us have what it takes to make nigeria a better place every one of us okay every one of us so it is it is actually a serious point of call when nigerians are saying enough is enough Let's get on with the right thing and get things done decently and in order. You see, the, the issues here, the matter here and all that is going on is, is actually a position where, you know, these governors, they are saying we want our interests to be represented. We want integrity. We want honor. And in fact, if you look at the other government, especially the governor of Delta State, it was in the very meetings where they said it's going to be the turn of the South after Buhari's turn. Then they gave him vice presidential position and he jumped at it. Okay, so these are part of the issues that are really, you know, troubling uh, Wiki and the rest. They are saying the organs making the decisions in the party, everybody must be, must be represented. Everybody must be represented, you know. Yeah, everybody, everyone must be represented. And this is why, you know, we cannot be treated. We cannot treat this matter, you know, with um, with some form of or as if it's not uh, something that is serious. It's a very, very serious issue. It's a very, very serious issue. So we must select and must make a pick very quickly and ensure that our heart is made up. You know, we cannot see people who cannot solve a simple situation, solve a national issue. Yes, leave us a comment. Bye for now.